Today we're going to play with the CREF command and what we want to do is to create a character and then we're going to have that character do a bunch of different things. And Midjourney is really great about this, but you kind of got to have to know how to dial it in and that's what we're going to work on today. So buckle up. Here we go. So first off, let's create a character. So I have a prompt already set up and we're going to do a smiling grandmother. Okay, and here's the prompt. And you might notice that I'm creating different levels of stylized command from zero all the way to a thousand. This is going to give me a whole bunch of different images to use. And for this, I don't really have a grandmother to start with. So uh, I'm, that's why I'm doing this. But for you, you might have something that you already like. And I'm, you know, and you can use that just as well. So I'm going ahead and start off here. Now, this is going to give us an illustration style of an old lady, okay? And we're going to pick one of these that we like the best, and we're going to use that throughout our process. And what we're really looking for is kind of a an illustration style uh, that we like that's kind of have a neutral-ish kind of background. And as you can see, we're getting a whole bunch of different grandmas here. Uh, I just want uh, kind of a an easy going normal picture. Uh, and, uh, and I've noticed that if you use one with a hat, it's really hard to get the hat off. So try not to start with one with a hat. Um, and also if you use a background that's got a lot of flowers, every picture you do will have flowers, right? So I'm going to use, I think, this one, okay? So this is the one that we're going to use as the basis for what we want to do. And what we need to do first is to get the image URL. So I just right-click and I get my image URL, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and blow this up on this side so we can compare later. Now, what we want to do is we want to do something with grandma doing something. So I'm going to, I'm going to repaste my prompt in and then I'm going to change it. So instead of smiling, uh, we can have her smiling, but we're going to have it, have her walking down the sidewalk. Right. And then we're still outdoors. Uh, what else do we do? And we want a full body shot. So let's type in full body shot. And we want to do stylize zero so it keeps our intent with the image here with this lady, right? And then what we want to do is we want to put our CREF in. So we do dash dash CREF. And then we paste in the copied URL. As you can see, that adds it right here. And then we've got the portrait going, but we also want to hold your shift key down and click on the little paper clip, right? And that also gives the style reference. So everything we make is going to look just like how this rendering was done. Okay. Now, here's another trick. We want to create a bunch of these at once. And so I'm going to use the repeat command, which is just dash dash R. And I can put any number between one and 10 in there. And it's going to give me those. Now, Warning, this will totally eat up your GPU time, just like the power permutations we did earlier. Um, so I'm just going to pick four, all right? And this is going to give us 12 images to choose from. And uh, here we go. Now, hopefully one or two of these will be something that we can use. Um, and you never know with mid-journey, right? But it should be pretty close, right? As you can see, here's all of our images. This one, they're they're uh, they're working, right? And that's 33% complete. But we can just start looking at these, right? So remember, here's our here's our original, right? And we want something that looks similar to this, which is why we use our style zero, which is kind of also style raw. Um, do we have any that looks really close to her? Um, I don't know. That one looks pretty good. Let's review. Okay. So she's got brown eyes. So we're looking for brown eyes. Okay. 
Um, and uh, what do we get? Right. Probably that one. That one looks great. So she's walking down the sidewalk, right? Kind of has the same look, right? So maybe that'll work. And if we want, we can hit very subtle and we can get a couple more, that type of thing. I tend to do that a lot when I'm doing stuff like this. Here's another one that might has good possibility. Let's hit very subtle again. And that gives us eight more images. And the more that you do this, the more that you're refining what you want. And then maybe you get something that really kind of hits hits the target there, right? And uh, But you can see this looks very similar to our original. Again, here's our original. And this kind of has this illustrative watercolor kind of style, right? So let's go ahead and use the same prompt. But we're going to, instead of walking down the sidewalk, we're going to be uh, drinking coffee, uh, kitchen, table. Whoop, spell it right. And then instead of smiling, let's say gesturing. And then we're not outdoors, we're indoors. Uh, what else? Uh, full body shot? Nope. Let's just do, we'll do portrait. Okay, style zero, right? Same thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do dash dash R and we'll do another 12 images, right? So this is the same grandmother, but now we're drinking coffee and we're gesturing with our hands and we're probably in conversation about something. And here you go. Now you get a lot of uh, consistent images this way. And um, so here's our original, right? Look how close that looks. That's just great, right? And um, we've got uh, a lot of, to choose from here. You know, if you see any you like or that are similar, you know, a good thing to do is to just to hit very subtle again and draw up a couple of these that um, might be, uh, might work for you, right? And that's how you dial it in. Now, I could keep doing this, but you get my idea, right? So we could make her riding a bike. We could have her shopping for groceries or driving a car or whatever you want to do. Also, if we want to change anything in there, we could say we want her in a green shirt or we want her doing something else. This is an easy way that you can get the same character doing multiple things and dial it in with the same style and look that you're going after. So anyway, if you like this, uh, please feel free to subscribe to our Mid Journey Experience newsletter. Uh, this is a weekly publication that we put together teaching you tips just like this. Uh, it's $12 a uh, month and it publishes every week. So anyway, hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. Take care.